On the 20th of April, the moon passed in front of the sun, giving eclipse chasers a chance to witness totality. So when we have a total solar eclipse, that means that the moon is just the right distance in between the Earth and the sun to completely block out the sun. Um, and you see it kind of, the, everything darken around you. And for a very, very brief period of time, you just see this dark disk in the sky. I joined Dr. Rebecca Allen on a ship in Western Australia to see my first total solar eclipse. We are prime eclipse chasing right now. We are on a ship uh, out in the middle of, I guess we're heading up now towards the Indian Ocean. The captain um, has been you know, speaking with us to try to make sure that the ship's in the best position. This is so that we can get in this kind of maximum total eclipse viewing spot. It's quarter past six in the morning on the 20th of April and I'm up early to watch the sunrise from the ship but also to get a spot to watch the eclipse later on. We've got pretty clear skies, we've got a good um, good forecast and, and the sun should be pretty high up so wherever we are on the boat we should be able to see it. So yeah, fingers crossed. The light's got like a weird quality to it. I can't really yeah. describe it though. Like it, it's kind of, I think dull is the right word. It looks like it's just like got its mouth open or something, doesn't it? Yeah. At the top. As we approached totality, we saw a phenomenon where shadows started to change shape, taking on the image of a crescent. This happens because of the pinhole effect. As the moon passes in front of the sun, it blocks rays of light from taking their usual path to Earth. So the rays that do manage to get through the holes in the cardboard are those that were angled in a specific way. These rays followed a trajectory from one side of the sun, passing through the hole and landing on the opposite side of the floor. As a result, projected images of the sun are inverted and mirrored. So small patches of light bear a striking resemblance to the solar eclipse taking place high up in the sky. It's really happening. <laughs> wow. Wow. Look at that. It was so pretty. The atmosphere on the ship was amazing. It was such a special environment to be in. Other people who've seen m multiple eclipses said that this one was particularly pretty. 